Good morning, boys and girls. This is Mr. Jones here to tell you about your math lesson today. And your math lesson today is 12.11, which is called Patterns in Measurement. And what you're going to be doing today is you are going to be looking at some of the different ways, uh, the different units of measurement that you've been learning about. Um, you may have been learning about the customary units, which could be pounds, it could be uh, inches, feet, yards, uh, what we he here use in the United States. Uh, we've also been talking about the metric system, which are the way that other countries uh, measure things that could be grams and kilograms, that could be liters and deciliters. And so what your job is, you're going to be taking all that information that you've been learning about, and you're going to be looking at it in terms of patterns. And so what you're going to do is today, you're going to be getting these tables. These tables are the boxes with the columns and the rows and the numbers in them, which is what the data is. So you're already going to have the data provided for you. And what your job is going to be is going to be to fill out the labels. What is going to be the headings of each column? And so this is showing you a pattern. So if you look down the left hand side, it's counting by ones. One, two, three, four. If you look down the right hand side, it's skip counting by sevens. Seven, 14, 21, 28. So what your job is, is to determine what headings are going to go at the top. And what this data is telling you is it's telling you that for one of something, it is equal to seven of something else. For two, it's equal to 14 of something else. So what you should be doing right now is be thinking of what do I know that one is equal to seven of something else? And hopefully you've figured out that this is for every one week, there are seven days. So that would be your heading. So weeks and days. So if you look down the line, one week is seven days. Two weeks is 14 days. Three weeks, 21 days. And four weeks, 28 days. So you're looking at the patterns. Skip counting by ones, skip counting by sevens. Okay? So let's look at the next one. Now the next one, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you a little bit, has to do more with the metric system. So think about what you've learned. Maybe you've seen a gallon man over the years in your classroom. But what this is saying is that for one of something is equal to two of something else. For two is equal to four of something else. Three of something equals six of something else. And four of something equals eight of something else. Does anyone know what it is? Okay, so maybe you figured out that I'm talking about pints and cups. So for that, every one pint, so pint is going to go over here on the left, one pint equals two cups. So our labels are pint and cups. So one pint is two cups, two pints is four cups, three pints is equal to six cups, and four pints is equal to eight cups. Okay, so those would be our labels, pints and cups. Okay, and then my last example um, is a little bit more similar to my first example. We're looking that for every one of something is equal to 52 of something else, which would mean 2 is equal to 104, 3 is equal to 156, and 4 is equal to 208. So this right column I'm actually skip counting by 52. So each time is I'm adding 52 because each time I'm going up one. Okay, so what of one of something equals 52 of something else? And maybe you've guessed it. Maybe you, maybe you haven't figured it out yet. But for every one year, there are 52 weeks. So our, our headings over here would be years and weeks. So one year is 52 weeks, two years, 104 weeks, three years, 156, 156 weeks, and four years equals 208 weeks. Okay, so that is what we're doing today. You are going to be looking at patterns and measurement, and you're going to be determining the labels that are going to go at the top of each column. Okay, so take what you know about patterns that you've been doing for your whole life. Take what you know about measurement and units of measurement that you've been studying for this chapter and see if you can uh, figure out the patterns. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks so much.